Hey guys, if you're looking for a basic pressure sensor for your application, you are watching the right video because I'm going to show to you our latest product, SPANB Pressure Sensor. Here is our SPANB. Inside the packaging, you can find the sensor body itself as well as the operating manual. You can just forget about the operating manual because I'm going to walk you through step by step how can you set up the sensor easily in the next following session. So now, let's bring you back to the, some of the product history of our SPAN-B. So SPAN-B is a new product series that derived from our original SPAN. So I believe you are quite familiar with our SPAN here. It comes with an IO link, analog and digital output, and more pressure range. And this will be targeted to use in the advanced application. So whereby our SBAN B, B is meant for basic and targeted to use in the basic application whereby it doesn't require a lot of uh, specification. So one thing you can see here, the differences will be the dis display size. So the original span comes with a larger display whereby the span B is come with a smaller display. So let's put a focus into the SBN B and I'm going to walk you through some of the product feature and the specification. So I have powered up a span B pressure sensor here. From the physical look, you can see it comes with a high contrast display, 30 by 30 mm grid size, and three buttons here for you to navigate into the menu to change the parameter like the set point MPN or PMP, normally open, normally close, pressure measuring unit, and so on. And this sensor comes with one digital output and three pressure range for selection. And we have negative one to 10 bar, negative one to one bar, and zero to negative one bar. For the pot size, we have R1 8 mil, G1 8 mil female, M5 female, and diameter four quick connect tubing connection. And for the variant with the female thread plus the quick connect diameter 4 connection, you can simply install this sensor into your copper free, nickel free, and zinc free environment. For the mounting wise, you can simply get this kind of a bracket from us to install your sensor vertically, horizontally, or use the front panel mounting to mount your sensor onto your control panel. Or even if you want to install this sensor onto the pressure regulator, you can simply get those sensor with a thread and simply couple this onto the pressure regulator and it allows you to monitor and adjust your system pressure easily. If you want to use the MA connector type, we have an adapter that convert the conventional socket type into your MA connection. Simply just get one of the sensor and get the adapter together and couple this onto it and you can just connect to your MA connector. So, for the span B, we do have a variant that come with the cable together. So just one part number that will come with a sensor body plus a 2.5 meter cable. And span B come with a very powerful function. We call it a replication function, which means you can simply copy the master parameter to the next slave sensor. Just simply copy and paste and replicating the parameter that to help you to save time, you don't need to go into the individual menu to do the parameter one by one. So in the next following session, I'm going to show you how can we set up the span B easily. In order to demonstrate a span B pressure sensor setup, I've connected the pneumatic port to a piston. So this piston will simulate a pressure and you can find the actual pressure reading on the sensor display. Currently, the sensor is in a run mode. You can press button A to check on the current output setting. You can press button B to check on the current special setting too. If you want to edit the parameter, you have to press the edit button. Just bear in mind that please do not use any sharp tool to press the button. It will cause a damage. In my case, I'll use Allen key to press the edit button. Now you are entered into the edit menu. You can choose either output setting or the special setting.
The sensor right here is come with a pressure measuring range of negative 1 bar to 10 bar. There are two types of functions you can find in our span B, the threshold value comparator or the window comparator. For the threshold value comparator, you only need to set one point. In my case, I can set one bar. And you can just set the sensor to feedback the signal when the reading is less than one bar or more than one bar. Let me show you how to do it. Simply press the edit button, enter into the OA set menu setting. By default, the function is already a threshold value comparator. Enter again. Then now I'm going to bring the set point down to one bar. And edit again. And the hysteresis, now you can just set some hysteresis value to prevent the fluctuating of the signal. So right now I set 0 0.1, which means when the signal will still retain, when the reading is 0 0.9 bar. Edit again. Now the logic is normally open, which means uh, more than one bar, I will get the signal. You can choose normally close as well. And I press again. Now I can change to the MPN or PNP. And the color setting as well. Uh, right now I want to make sure less than one bar, I want to prompt a red color to notify the operator saying that the system pressure is not healthy. Okay, so right now all the setting is done. Now I press the piston, you can see when I reach to one bar, it will show a signal and turn into blue display. You can find there is a signal given from the display beside the OA. And less than one bar 0 0.9, you can see the signal is still retained. And less than 0 0.9, the signal is gone. Now it's turned to the completely red display. For the window comparator function, you only need to set two points, the lower point and the high point. You can just configure the sensor to provide the signal when the reading is within the window or outside the window. Just enter into the OA setting again, change to a window comparator function. Now I want to set the low point to one bar and edit again. Now you need to set the high point to its two bar. And I will keep the same hysteresis. Now normally open. If you want to get the feedback signal outside the window, you can just choose normally close. I want to switch back to uh, normally open. And I won't change the MPN or PNP. So not right now, whatever outside the window, I want to prompt red. So to notify the operator. So now the setting is done. Now you can see the pressure is increasing until one bar, it will trigger a signal. And within one to two bar, the signal will still retain on. Yep, you can see now it's outside the window, it will prompt red. And now less than one bar, the reading turned red as well. Alright, so if you want to change some special setting, like the pressure measuring unit and so on, you can go into the special setting menu. Click edit and select the special setting menu. Edit again, the first one with the filter. If you are dealing with some of the very fast pick and place, where the signal needs to be sent very promptly to PLC, then you can just off it. If you are dealing with some of the very fluctuating pressure and you want the signal to be stable down, then you can just add in some of the delay. The next one will be the unit. You can change to the kilopascal, megapascal, bar, PSI, and so on. We do have a power saving function, which enable you to set how many seconds you want the display to be stay, and afterward it will just dim the display. We do have a fu lock function. You can just enter the lock key to lock the parameter to make sure no one is overwriting the sensor parameter. So come to the last function, the replication function. I have another sensor here, which I set differently. You can set, you can see the, all the setting is different. I can simply copy and paste this uh, setting into the sensor on the right side. 
I have connected the sensor, the cable, both cable are black color are connected. So I can just uh, simply on it. Then I will just uh, enter again. So you can see as long as I trigger the copy and paste function, then the sensor will just turn. You can see just that easy copy and paste to save time. So here comes to the end of a spam B demonstration. My name is Chi Hong, product marketer from Festo, and see you next time.